Welcome to the entrance of the construction for our photography facilities. Uh, we've been under construction here for several months and we're very excited about it. And uh, today we're going to take a look at it and you get to say a little bit about what's going on. I want to uh, introduce Perry Wallace, who is our facilities uh, project manager, and Kevin Eames, who is the program head for photographic technology. Well, this is the south entrance of the uh, photography lab. This is where most of the students be coming in. This area right in here is going to be their little lobby area, and they have their little lockers in it, and also this is mainly for the students. And we'll have a sidewalk out here, and, and we'll have landscaping out here. But Come on this way, we'll show you some more things. This area right here is what Terry Perry was referring to is going to be the student uh, student lobby or student commons, I yeah. think is what we're going to call it. So lockers will be in all those uh, inserts there. There will be furniture here. And if you come over this way a little bit, you see this big hole cut there. That is actually going to be glass. It's going to be a window, so they're going to have some natural light. So let's go continue forward. This might get a little dark for you, so don't be scared. And this is where students will do uh, mat cutting, dry mounting. Uh, wet mounting and also be inspecting their negatives and prints when they come out of the, the darkroom areas. So if you follow us this way, going to come around what we're going to call the, I call it the chicane, but what's Perry call it? The maze. The maze. Perry calls it the maze. So this is actually the entrance to the darkroom area that we're building. And actually in this space, we are going to have the same number of enlargers that we had in the older space, which took up probably, what, four times the square footage of uh, film. This is the new film processing area where we actually have two sides to this. We have a, a light side, which is where you'll be doing chemistry and mixing and, and tagging things. And then this hole is actually for the processor that's going to be put in. And that takes us through to the dark side space over here. So the processor will be here, entrance will be there, and I'll have all this beautiful dark space to uh, to do magic with. When you get your door in. When I get my door in. Yes. Yeah, Perry's working on the door. This is our hallway that leads to all of our uh, video, uh, digital video editing suites. And you'll notice uh, the size of this room is actually quite substantial. Um, there's always going to be a question about why do you have a window in your video editing suite? Well, the windows make the building better. It does give a little sunlight, but we'll block them out when we're doing our, our editing stuff, our editing things in here. This is going to set us apart from most of the schools that I've ever been to. Uh, each one of these rooms has been meticulously soundproofed, sound abated, as they say, so that no matter what's going on anywhere else in this floor, they will be able to record audio and do projects, podcast projects, multimedia projects. That's what these are designed for. So editing for stills, uh, video, and, and any kind of sound is all gonna happen in these rooms. And they are gonna be equipped with the best equipment. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. How many please. students will be working here at a time? We can get five in at a time for projects because most of them are team projects. So you'll have a director of photography and a director of script and a, you know all those different roles that are played. So we can get five students in here at a time that are going to be working together on two monitors and a whole bunch of other beautiful high-speed software. And we have actually eight of them, so we got the majority on this wall. And then we've got three others on this side that are the same without the windows. So we got a total of eight. Well, this is something we never had before, so this is this is an awesome addition. Oh, absolutely. We we were working out old film uh, film loading rooms before for our stuff, and so this is a big improvement on that. This room is uh, going to be for the digital inkjet printing room. So since technology changes, we have eliminated all but our black and white printing, which is based on older materials, which is what the students learn from, and then this will be. Uh, all inkjet. So they will be doing printing here off of computers and doing inkjet prints and learning their color technologies that way come together. So this is cut through to the roof. roof. Yeah. You've got a 10 ton <laughs> unit on the roof which controls your outside. Area. So we have a janitor's closet there which is going to be great for our housekeeping staff. They've worked so hard to keep these things clean and up in good Water shape. Water fountain. Oh. This is where the new bathrooms are going to be. We have side by side. 
And they're going to be, uh, Cindy has got some really magnificent ideas for the decor. Uh, as far as tiling and color. Uh, this room is going to be specifically for the second year portrait studio management concentration for their classwork. So there's no computers in here. Uh, this is going to be a lecture and uh, study and we're going to have a pretty pricey back pattern over there, which is going to be nice. We can do a lot with that. But the neat thing about this room and the neat thing about the renovation is that we're able to custom tailor every classroom for concentration. So this little alcove you see right here, this is going to be first. So there's actually going to be a, a place, a love seat there. There's going to be a chair here and some regular furnishings and a very large uh, display monitor on the wall. And what this is for is to train our students to interact with clients and to show their product, to put together slideshows, which is part of our multimedia. Because the old days of showing proofs, we don't do that anymore. Now we have to show them things on the screen and then show them all the options they would have, how big they could have it. And so by watching our students and getting them in here, we're going to be able to teach them how to sell much better. And it's not just about the money, but it's to, to in integrate their, their work with their people. So this is a really exciting change uh, for us. And I don't know of any school that has this. I am sure we want to call it a love seat. <laughs> no, I guess you're right. We better, we better think about that. That would be bad. All right, so Dr. Shackford, we used to come up this hallway, if you remember, every time we had the Christmas events or right. you know, any of the big things, we uh, the, the whole school would come up this hallway and we'd be headed this way to the photography door. So now this would be a new student entrance here, which it used to be, but if you follow me, That's oh, electrical room. electrical room there, and this green paint, which you can see was the decor back in 1960-something when they built it, this is where that case used to be that held all the prints oh, yeah. on this side of the wall. And so then the next step we came to is this is how we used to get in, was they had that, the swinging doors right here. So that's actually, that's where we are now, is where we used to be. This is a completely different facility. Yeah, totally different, yes. Uh, in here we have our IT room. How we're still servicing the students that's still here on the east side so we had to maintain our phone system we had to maintain our emergency system and and the fiber system because you know, we couldn't take it away from them so. well that's been one of the challenges of this whole project that we're actually conducting classes and the program is in full operation while we're right. renovating around it and these two rooms uh dr shackford they're Right now they're full of uh, mechanical things, but these are the two new digital uh, classrooms that we're going to have. Uh, each one of these classrooms will have uh, 30 computers, uh, all new IMAX, uh, and they will they will service both first year and second year students. And they're actually going to mirror each other. They'll be bookends. Now before we had a 30 barely 30 seat computer mm -hmm. lab, and it got crowded really fast. It was great when they built it, but again, as you grow and it starts to change the technology, you have to change with it. So now we've got to push the multimedia and all the digital things forward while still maintaining our fundamental teaching. And so now we're going to be able to open this up, whereas before we had one room, so that was pretty much second year. And it, it was always full. Every time yes. I came down the hall, it was full. Packed. So now we're going to have two of these, which I think is going to be great. So as we start to plan curriculum changes and upgrade technology and class content, we can do it on a big map so that all the staff can see it when we're working together. This will be the war room. room. That's the war room. That's the war room. Now, if you remember, Dr. Shackford, uh, right here where this floor starts, this is where it turned to black and white tile. Right. So as you're going down to do your thing in the studio with, uh, with the events, this is where it turned to black and white tile. So these doors are, are totally changed now. We've opened this up. These are the, still the portrait bays that they still where they are. If you will remember, there was a digital print room and, and a, um, Aaron's office, Aaron Arsenal's office, which used to be Ashley's office, A office, I guess we we'll call it. This is now going to be the uh, ECO, the equipment checkout room. Okay. So this is going to hold most of the equipment and then the uh, lab manager will have an office right behind it and behind the office is where she'll be able to see into the front entrance where the public will come in. 
And this is the gallery that... Uh, the apartment's going to be steel and glass. Yes. The, the recognizable entry when you come in. We probably looked at 40 different designs to get this front right so that it fit with the look we're trying to do, but also had a wild presence yeah. in the public. So I think this is going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. This asphalt to come back, plus we'll have sidewalks out here, plus we'll have a little bit of greenery out front. So that's been a little walkthrough tour of our photography program under construction. We started off changing the curriculum and now we're building the technology and the facility around the curriculum changes to upgrade it to multimedia. And we're really excited about it. It's been amazing the way that uh, facilities and our photography uh, staff have worked together to continue to serve students this summer while they're in full construction mode. So congratulations to them. Uh, we're gonna have a ribbon cutting for this facility on Thursday, January 18th at 10 o'clock, followed by a reception. I hope you'll all mark that on your calendar and come and see. You won't even recognize this compared to the photography program of old. So we look forward to seeing you then, Thursday, January 18th at 10 o'clock for the ribbon cutting and reception.